everyone. Wow, it's a cold, wintry day again. Well, it's not freezing cold. Sprinkling earlier, so I'm kind of inside. I plan to be outside a little bit more. I did get out about a half hour ago and I ran across a over 50s baseball game. <laughs> it was pretty cute. Uh, no uniforms or anything. Or I think I did see a couple old uniforms. Maybe they were old uniforms that they've had for a while. Well, here's some coffee. I made that. Second cup. Cheers. Yeah, it's kind of dark skies. Yeah. Kind of sprinkling, little sprinkles. It's supposed to rain heavy in about four hours. Yeah, well, I got a couple jokers next to me here. Oh, even though my windows are up, both of them were smoking cigarettes. Cigarettes um, make me nauseous. There's so many chemicals in those cigarettes now, but I can I could kind of smell just a little bit. They're a little bit close. Oh, now they're smoking again. But they got open containers. I watched them open. They can't see me, but I could see them. Because I'm sort of up just a little bit. They're in a regular car, and I can see down. But out here, I'll show you to you. Girls, what do you think? Hear that? It's starting to rain. But girls, what do you think? <laughs> would, would you hook up with them? <laughs> Now they opened, one of them's drinking a beer, and then the other one, um, the younger one, opened a can of, looks like Jim Beam or something. A little, yeah, a little flask of Jim Beam, yeah. They're both drinking, and they're getting a little more giggly as they're drinking. I wish they would leave, but they don't. Well, I could move. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to move, yeah. Okay, so let me get another sip of coffee. I've got something I want to share with you. I mentioned previously that I started using castor oil on my face, okay? I'll show you the bottle I got. I bought this. I wasn't sure how easy it was to get what they, what they wanted me to get. It's certified organic. First press, it's from a castor nut from a tree. I don't know, is it called a castor tree? This is what I got. I can leave the link for it. So I got this. Now, let me show you. Let me show you. It's very thick. I mean, it's thick. Let me put some in my hand here. It is, it's a very thick oil. So I asked here, let me put this on my hand. So I asked my daughter-in-law, um, what kind of other oils that she uses? Cause she's into doing face exercises and massaging, which I am now myself. And she said that what she bought was some organic rosehip oil. And if, let me show you this. Yeah, it's a little bit runnier. Yeah, it's, yeah. The castor oil is very thick. Yeah, it's thick. So what they recommend that you do with the castor oil is mix it with another oil, a more, oh no, they're both gonna smoke at the same time again. I think I'm gonna have to move. It's just, I can smell it. It's coming into the into my van. I will tell you, and then we'll continue on with this. I will tell you that vehicles are not um, sealed up containers. A lot of people say, oh, you gotta open your windows, or what if you suffocate in there? Or not, you can't. I mean, it's not a sealed container. There are vents that happen, you know? I mean, how do you think like, when you turn on your heater, the heat comes from your engine area. As your engine heats up, it blows heat. 
when you turn on the heater. So, and that comes in here. Now, if that can come in here, how can, um, how does that happen? Because the engine isn't contained. I mean, if you look under some, uh, under your vehicle, it's an open area where your, your engine area is. I mean, there's, there's, there's blocks there that keep it from falling down, but no, it, I mean, that's how mice can jump up in there. They get under there and they just jump in. So your vehicle is not a sealed container. So things can come through and they can come in through the, there and to the engine area or to some of these vents down here. And yeah, so let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move. I know, I hate to do it, but I'm going to because otherwise it's gonna make me sick and it looks like they're gonna be there for a while. They're gonna be drinking and then they're gonna drive. <laughs> they're gonna drink and then they're gonna go drive, yeah. So ladies, I ask again, would you hook up with these guys? Do they look like husband material? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know I'm a voyeur with my with my limo tinting on, aren't I? Okay, so I moved. <laughs> I moved. And now I'm trying to get everything back. Yeah, I just I was really uncomfortable. They look like no do gooders. Oh great, now they left. <laughs> oh okay. Um, let's see. Let's turn these on again. Oh. Okay, let's get some lights in here, folks. There we go. Okay. So castor oil, I want to continue telling you about this. And let me just get this out again. Castor oil. It looks like <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger bottle. Yeah, I've been using this morning and night. Let me tell you about the benefits of this. Oh my gosh. Now, before I started, I was reading in here that it's really good for your hair. Now, one of the reasons my hair is a little bit frizzy right now, it is clean. Of course, now it's a little oily down here. I put some castor oil on it. I wanted to see. It says it'll take away frizziness, but it does improve and it actually repairs your hair. So, I've had people say, oh, your hair looks uh, so damaged. Well, it, it probably is. I mean, hair is, is damaged, you know, and you know, the longer it's been down here, but I really take care of my hair. Now I wear a satin, a satin bonnet every night so that it doesn't scratch on the pillow. It's has a nice landing on it if it moves, but I do like long hair. So I'm not going to just sit people and say, Oh, you need to get rid of, well, I'm not going to cut my hair. Um, I, I will trim it and I do trim it. Okay. And it's a little thinner down here. I agree. I had somebody say, oh, it just looks so damaged. You know, well, you don't have to point it out, okay? I know that. <laughs> but one of the reasons kind of frizzy is the other day I had it in braids. So that means when I took it out, you know, it was all just like a kinky. Yeah. So that's the only reason. Usually it has a little bit of a, a curl to it, but not right now. And I'm just not willing to wash it right now. So let me, after I explain that, guys, I know you love this, but watch. Because some of you guys, you older guys, you still got them little ponytails going on, okay? And castor oil is really good for you. So I'm about to read you some stuff. So pay attention. Pay attention. This is important. So this is from webmed.com. Castor oil is a thick, I showed you how thick it was. It's a thick odorless oil made from the seeds of the castor plant. Its use dates back to ancient Egypt, where it was likely used as fuel for lamps, as well as for medicinal, medicinal and beauty purposes. Cleopatra reportedly, reportedly used it to brighten the whites of her eyes. Huh? Wow. Okay. Today, most is produced in India. It's still used as a laxative and in skin and hair products. It's also an ingredient in motor oil. Okay. Probably because it's so thick, among other things. The FDA says it's safe for treating constipation, but researchers are still investigating its other potential health benefits. So castor oil has some vitamin E, omega-9 fatty acids, and omega-6 fatty acids. 
Now for internal use, the only, I've never taken it internally, by the way. Mm, I, I don't know if I'd do that and I'm not going to recommend it. Okay. So I'm just telling you what they, what they said. So don't come back and say, I got sick. You told me that. No, no, I don't. For internal use, the only FDA approved health use for castor oil is a natural laxative to relieve temporary constipation. Now, research in animals shows that this is the acid that's in it. Ricinolic acid may help fight swelling and pain caused by inflammation when applied to your skin. One study in people found it was an effect as effective treating symptoms of knee arthritis mm -hmm, as a non-steroidal non-steroid, anti-inflammatory drug. Yes, I've heard of that, but to you, some of you actually told me when I had my knee problem, which by the way, is like, it's 95% okay. Every once in a while I feel a little something. So I still kind of, you know, I'm, I'm nursing it a little bit. But yeah, oh my gosh. Yes, it's it's uh, just, I wanted to report that. But I have been, but well, maybe that's why. I've actually been applying some uh, castor oil on it. Oh my God, okay, it's all coming to me now. Castor oil. Okay, so here's the thing I do want to tell you. I lost my place. There's so many benefits, so don't go anywhere. I have so much here. Okay. Okay. I had, <laughs> I know, look, okay. I had this little round. It was, it was like a, uh, a sunspot. I've had it for a year and a half now. It started so, and it, it's, it was a, a, a spot. It was like, like right there above there. And it, it was like the size of my finger. It was like getting dark. I thought, oh, great. You know, because it gets some sunspots here and here. So I've been applying it. I looked the other day. It's gone. I tell you, it's gone. I'm not kidding. I mean, I do have my, I have some concealer on, but it is gone. It was right there. I swear it was right there. Um, okay, so that's not, that's the first of it. Now I see, I've been using it for three weeks now. So I'm going to wait for these to go. And some of these, maybe they are getting lighter and lighter. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to read you the pro. Uh, so now, now do I have your attention? This is important. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. A castor oil has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties that may help speed wound healing. Ooh, okay. Especially when it's combined with other ingredients. It says Venelex, which contains castor oil and balsam Peru. Now uh, this is from wedmd.com. So I'm just checking the time. So you could go on there yourself. In fact, I'll leave the link for it. So you can read this yourself because I want you to know this. This isn't something that I came up with. I mean, this is somebody else. Okay. But think of the spot. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Um, so that ointment, the Venelex, Venelex is an ointment used to treat skin and pressure wounds. Okay. The oil may help to prevent infection by keeping the wounds moist while the resin, resinolic, I think that's how you say it, acid, reduces inflammation. Don't use castor oil on minor cuts or burns at home. I don't get that. Okay. I mean, it just says that. So I don't know. Um, it is recommended for wound care only in the doctor's office and hospitals. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Okay. So castor oil side effects. While castor beans contain a poison called ri ricin, this toxin is removed during processing of castor oil. But there are some health ri link, risk linked to the use. Allergic reaction, I would just use a little bit to see if you're allergic to things. If you're allergic to a lot of things, you might be allergic to this. Gastrointestinal discomfort. Well, if it's going to be a laxative, I can see why, right? Now, pregnancy concerns. D do not use if you're pregnant. If you're pregnant or think you're pregnant, do not use this. Seriously, I'm telling you. Um, 
medication interactions yeah could be i'm not on medication so i'm not worried but you might be overdose you don't want to overdose of it and it's toxic to pets don't let your pets get at it now for beauty purposes this is still from webmd.com castor oil is bursting bursting with beauty boosting vitamins that can help encourage hair growth making it the ultimate remedy for sparse thin brows a lot of people are using it for their eyebrows now lip balm and i have an i have a um a diy lip balm that i got from there and i'm going to post it in uh, comments okay it's a recipe as castor oil is packed with fatty acid rich omegas proteins and vitamins it can also help soften and restore dry, chapped lips. Mm -mm. Very kissable. And you can do that better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For instant relief, simply apply two drops directly onto your lips. Two drops? Oh my gosh, don't use two drops. That must be a big little dropper. My dropper is kind of big. Two dollops would be just, I, what I do is I drop it onto my hand. I just, in fact, I don't even drop it. I pull it out, it's so thick, and I just sort of rub the thing on there and get a little bit on there, yeah. Two drops would be way too much for your lips. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm giving you a warning. When you get it, and I know you're gonna be out there looking for it, I ordered it online and I did see some in Whole Foods. Okay, because um, you want to get organic and you want to get first press, just like olive oil. You want to get the first press. For instant relief, simply apply two drops. Oh, my gosh. Alternate, you can create your own DIY, and I will leave you the recipe for this. You can use virgin coconut oil, castor oil, olive oil, and colored berry lipstick. Ooh, okay, so I'll leave you the recipe. Now, it's a good healing oil. If you have a pimple do you know when i was older i did get a pimple from hell and it was right there. <laughs> i did i think i have a little scar from it i couldn't believe that thing was like it got big <laughs> i was so embarrassed oh my gosh um, not only is it rich source of ricinolic acid which helps fight off acne bacteria that can help keep breakouts at bay so if you got teenage grandkids or kids yeah but even they're older um, you can get little pimples. And finally, it contains vitamin E. It can help minimize the appearance of post-inflammatory pigmentation. Just massage a drop of oil onto any problem area after you've applied your serums and moisturizers. Now, here is a recipe for hot oil hair treatment. It helps oil. So I put this on. You know, it doesn't really feel greasy anymore. I've read that, and I couldn't find the, the, where I got, I'm watching my friend out there. He always sits out there before he goes into the senior center. Um, I read that, let me see if I can get this right. Bear with me. I don't know the terminology very well. But castor oil is like a delivery type oil. So, you know, like hyaluronic acid, what it does is it, 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 um, it seals in moisture in your face after you wash your face. Put hyaluronic acid on it and it keeps moisture in your face. Well, I read that castor oil is a delivery oil that literally attracts moisture out of the air. Yeah, and brings it to your skin. <laughs> it sounds pretty good to me, right girls, right? I, I, I would like to attract moisture, right? It's especially helpful if you're out in quartzite because that place will dry you out and nothing flat. I think that's where I got that spot here. <laughs> I was starting to get sunspots everywhere. But um, yeah, but it does attract moisture. Now, it's funny that this, I put actual oil on my hair. It doesn't, it, I think it improved it a little bit. They say it's really good. I probably need a little bit of a trim right there. Yeah, we'll take care of that girls. Don't mention that, okay? Don't point it out for me. I'll point it out myself. Okay, so um, where I think I I messed I messed my place up here. Uh, anyways, it's good for your hair. Now I do have the hot oil treatment, and I do have um, it's good for lash serum also. You can put it on your lashes, but yeah, it's starting to rain. 
it's good for hair scrub. I'm going to leave you the DIY in, um, directions and ingredients for the hair, the, for scalp scrub, hair scrub, scalp. It's an anti-aging oil. Oh my gosh, I got proof right there. When massaged onto the skin in circular motions, castor oil can help stimulate the production of collagen. What? <laughs> I know, I'm being real dramatic. Woo. Okay, I, I'm not kidding. That's what it says. Our skins, it's our skin's answer to youthful toned skin. I know some of you said, oh, you look so much younger. Maybe. Our skin's, in, okay, um, it's also super hydrating and will leave your skin feeling smooth and plump. Here's the other one. It's a nail strengthener and it really helps with your cuticles. I, I tend to get dry cuticles because I'm not in a bathtub soaking. It soothes sunburned skin. It reduces the appearance of stretch marks. And guys, you got stretch marks too. I know you do. It can help reverse hair damage. Okay. And, uh, but here's the thing, avoid ingesting castor oil if you're pregnant, because this was used, and I hate to even mention it, it was used to um, induce labor. Uh, in fact, midwives might still use it. But there's other things that midwives use nowadays. So yeah, castor oil. Castor oil, oh my gosh, isn't that something? Now, some of you asked me what other products I use for my hair. Well, the castor oil is going to be the new thing. But I also have argon. It's Moroccan oil. But it's argon oil. A-R-G-O-N. Argon oil is good for the hair. Okay? And I also use Moroccan oil. This is a lotion. There's still a little bit of lotion on my hair. It's just my hair is kind of just just straight down and I'm not willing to wash it yet and it's not ready to be washed so I got to deal with it but I use this and then there's another product I have that I use for um, um it's a repair Moroccan oil it's a repair and then another one that actually pump plumps up your hair like after I wash it I can use the and I plump up my hair I just put it on there, wipe it in, and then what I do is I take this and I just up, 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 up. I just go like that, and I tie it up with like this, because it's still a little wet. Plump it up like that. Ooh, there we go. And um, I and I keep it there. I kind of tighten it to really pull it, and then like about a half hour later, I take it out, and it's all like. You know, like, woo, it's all, yeah. If I want my hair, who did something. I know. <laughs> so there you go. Now, you wanted to know about my, let me, I got so many phones. She had so many phones, she didn't know what to do. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, in a van. She had so many phones. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Let me get to the proper place. Having fun yet? I'm trying to make things fun. Okay, this is from Raggedy Ann Andy Rhodes Show. Okay. Hi, Lee. Everybody says hi. Hi. Um, you always look so nice. Oh, don't I look nice? <laughs> um, can you please share exactly what you use for cleansing and makeup? Well, I'll do my hair. I've always liked this. This is is got got to be. That's the brand. Got to be. And this is this is paste. Is paste. I've, I've had this a long time. You don't use very much of it, but I know because look at that. I've had this a long time, but I do like this brand. Got to be. And I go with the paste. Well, that's what I went with. I've tried the other things that like lotion or face paste, but I just put a little, it's, it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty thick. Uh, what I do with this is I can, um, for my bangs, you, what, with the, it's, it, what this does, it's sculpting. This sculpts your hair. Like I can take it like this, bring it down. There you go. There you go. It's sculpting. I 
can take this, kind of sculpt this up if I want to, right? There we go. Oh, yeah. It's called, it's, the brand has got to be. It's got to be. There you go. See, I have teen, I had uh, teenage teenagers, and they, I, and they would always bring their friends over, so they taught me a lot, yeah. They just got to be. Now, what if I want this to be shaped? So see, now my bangs are a little bit shaped. I like to bring a little bit down here. Just bring a little bit down, just a little bit there. And what if I want to show my ears just a little bit? I could take this and sort of shape it. It's just a little bit. In fact, let me get just a little bit more. You don't need a lot, just enough so that it you can feel it on your, you don't need a lot. And then just take it and pull it out. I'm sculpting my hair. I'm the sculptor there. See, and it stays, it stays. This one, sometimes what I like to do with this, it got like this. I, I didn't intend for this to be shorter. It just ends up that way. I can pull that out. See, get this back. Now I can take this and kind of let's pull this down. There we go. Got it. It's on my finger. A little bit more. See, I'm just, I'm just showing you. Might as well look nice when I go into the senior center, right? I know, you funny. See, so I can sculpt this out. Bring this down. You know, the girls wearing that thing coming down. Yeah, there you go. I'm just, the possibilities, yes. And bring this down, down, down. Somebody had asked me how I cut my bangs. Because I cut my own bangs. See, this is, there. I don't like my bangs to be all this. I don't want to go straight across, no way. No way, I like to have them so I can sculpt things. I saw one photo today where she she had this one coming down and then one longer one, it came down to here and I thought, that's cool. She was a young girl, you know. I like to watch to see what, what's going on. You, and there's so many different ways that you can do things. Um, do you wanna know how I uh, cut my bangs? You want me to show you? I know it's gonna be long. Let me get my trusty. Okay. I'm not actually going to cut them because I just recently did. If you notice, my bangs are shorter. There's different ways you can cut your bangs. Okay? Okay? But what I do is I take like, okay, like I got this. I got this. I mean, I've got obvious kind of like I bring my bangs down. Let's just take a piece of bang right here. Start here. Put your scissors there. And, but don't cut very much. Just clip, 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 clip. And just very gently go down, go down, go down, and then go down. So what it does was it's, so that makes it thicker up here and thinner down here. What I do first to probably, if they're too long, I take it like this, and then I just kind of get it going. So I want to take enough off. But then what I do, I don't take off too much because I'm obviously going to do this now. And I just, let me show you again. I take a piece of hair. I start about here and ever so small. You don't really, you just clip, do it over the sink because hair is going to fall. You clip just a little bit. Keep going. You clip just a little bit. Maybe go in deeper, go in deeper, go in deeper. And then, yeah. So it's thicker up here, thinner down there. Because unless you want that, you want it thick, thick. It just looks kind of funny. Yeah, that's not, that's not um, how I want uh, my hair to look. So there you go. These are just a few of the tips that I have for you today. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, at some point, I'll show you my makeup. This is one of your best tips right there. Well, the, besides the castor oil, is your face. Um, it's a uh, sun block sun block you want to block the sun off your face because it will eat up the collagen off your face it'll eat up your collagen it'll destroy it collagen is what we need that's why our face falls we need collagen and as we get older we lose it we don't eat a lot of collagen food products we're not yeah so go with the castor oil everybody and um at some point i'll show you all my makeup i know it's kind of a <laughs> I know. Um, let's see. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, that's, that's the hair thing. 
Well, I better say goodbye. This is going on forever, isn't it? Forever. Yeah. I know, I got that little. I did not intend for that to be shorter. I don't know what happened, but it's there. And I, I, I tried to make the best of, of, of a bad situation. So I flaunt it. <laughs> I flaunt this piece of hair. Okay. Okay, everybody, please subscribe down there. Look to see if you're subscribed. Go to minivanlee.com. Um, I'm giving you tips. I like to give you tips. Um, if you feel in your heart to give me a little $5 gift, $10 gift or more, please go there and do it. It's a safe system. Um, and let's see, what else? Well, I got sunglasses. You want to protect your eyes, right? And uh, I love you. Okay, tomorrow, more stuff. Don't know what it'll be. I have no idea. But there'll be something. And I'll be looking for you, okay? Okay, bye. Bye.